there's a famous Amos Wilson quote, math quote that I'm paraphrasing, right? Uh, why it's so important we didn't learn math. You know, to identify our problems and solve your problems and now become a problem to the person's benefiting from your problems, right? Paraphrasing. Um, I want to talk about the political necessity for black children to be deficient in math, specifically uh, in the area of critical thinking and finding inconsistencies and contradictions in life. So that's one of the things that math does is like it trains your brain to think a certain way, like to think more critically, to think more analytically, you know, because when we think about equations, right, when we test to see if an equation is valid or if the, an answer is true, right, or correct, we're looking to see if when we substitute that value in for the variable, does the left side equal the right side? You know, it's similar to like if you think somebody's lying to you, you might say, yo, something ain't adding up. Right. Because, you know, it's something this ain't right. Like basically it's an equation. This equation don't balance out. The left side don't equal the right side. You trying to tell me that, you know, this is this is 58 is equal to negative 14. Like, no, 58 is not the same as negative 14. Right. Something's not adding up. So when we do the more and more math we do, we're training ourselves to think in a certain way, to think and rec be able to recognize contradictions like 58 equals negative 14. That's a contradiction. Like it's not true. It's not valid. Right. And then that can apply to you know, political situations, political arrangements, economic situations, you know, um, you know, different social relationships. You know, why does this community get more resources than our community? Right. Or why, you know, to even think about that and not just think, oh, well, that's just normal. That's just how it is. Well, maybe that's not how it should be. And then we think about what well, we start to think about. Well, you know, um, how could we change this? But even but first, even recognizing it as a problem identifying it identifying it because you've got to be able to identify problems like math is a system of problem solving but math also enables you a math approach it also enables you to be able to identify problems whereas like a lot of times a lot of people don't even know how to identify a problem like big problem bro yeah that's a big problem yeah because you can't solve you can't solve nothing if you don't like you can't even diagnose it you know like you know you go to the doctor like they can't like cure something if you know they can't even diagnose what the problem is in the first place so a lot of us don't have the ability to do that um, and I think it is a political necessity, like, you know, the late Amos Wilson referred to and talked about, because it helps to maintain the status quo. Because if you think of the black community and the persistence of a lot of the problems that we have as a collective, right, and the fact that so many of us can't identify problems, don't know what the problem is, but then even if, we, if the problem is identified by ourselves or for us, we don't have really a methodology to be able to think about how to solve the problem, right? Um, so a lot of times we just kind of just go, you know, go along to get along because we're not thinking on a certain level. And, and, I, and I love the example you gave because in regards to uh, problem solving too and the ability to think, identifying the problem uh, in a dualistic way from an individual level and a collective level because how we would solve this problem on an individual level is not the way we would solve this problem on a collective level, you know? Right. And I think of a math example with that. I think about like systems of equations, right? In a system of equations, you typically have like, you know, a ninth grade student taking algebra one or eighth grade student taking algebra one might have to learn how to solve systems of equations. A system of equations is where you have multiple equations, probably two, two equations with two variables inside of them. And you got to solve for both variables, right? So, but within those, within those equations, you got single numbers, you got constants, you got single variables, you got plus signs, minus signs, right? That's like, that's like the individual approach, right? But then the system is everything working together, right? So it's very different, like how you solve a single equation, right, just one equation, versus how you solve a system of equations is very different, right? So it kind of is a model for like our lived experience and our lived situation, right? You got the collective, right? But then you got the individual, right? So as an individual, you might look at it like, well, you know, I'm cool, I'm good. You know, my household is cool. I'm straight. I'm, my, my bills are paid. You know, I'm, I got, I'm driving my car. I, I can put gas in my tank, whatever. Um, you know, but then as part of a collective that is collectively losing, you know, things may be very different. So and a lot of times we're put in situations where we have to, you know, we make gains individualistically at the expense of the collective. And that's something that we got to start thinking more about, because no matter how good you may feel as an individual, if you're part of a weak group, then, you know, you're not safe. 
So that's something we really got to start thinking about, you know? But a lot of us, at the same time, we just don't think we can win as a collective. So a lot of people are just like, well, I don't think we can win. Even if they don't articulate it and admit it, they're just like, yeah, I'm just, I just got to do the best I can for, for, for me and mine. Mm-hmm. And, and that's fine. I, I get that and I understand where that sentiment comes from. But I just want people to understand that if you take that individualistic approach, you're still not safe. Because if you're part of a weak group, even if you feel like you're winning, I'm going to just go over here and try to win as an individual. As an individual, like you're not safe. So we, we got to figure out a way to try to like build up the collective.